Welcome everyone. In uh, this video, I will talk about uh, the organization of this uh, uh, lecture series of this course. And uh, in this video, I will talk about the evaluation criteria for the course, for the different ways to attend, uh, about the four modules that the lectures, uh, uh, lecture series consists of, and the learning outcomes. Um, so what you see on the right side are the four modules that this course is broken up into. Uh, first, we have module one about basic theory and fabrication, module two, advanced theory, simulation, and mass production of uh, BioMEMS devices, module three about sensors and actuators and uh, the network of these, and then module four is uh, applications of uh, BioMEMS devices. And then there are labs corresponding to, uh, to these lectures. And uh, this here will be the course schedule. Uh, so this is a new format that we are testing for the first time. And there are three tracks in which you can attend this course. Track one is fully online, which means that uh, you do this course in a tutorial style. So you can listen to the lectures online uh, on YouTube and uh, you can watch the labs also. You can perform it on your own if you would like to, but it's not mandatory. And there is no evaluation and there's no compulsory registration to the course. Track two is online, but participatory, which means that you must register and you will be evaluated and evaluation will be on the next slide. But uh, you can listen to the lectures online in the same fashion but you can do this on Moodle and there will be additional follow-up questions to, to the lectures. You can join the seminars, which uh, as you will see on the next slide are used for evaluation. You can watch the labs online and you can also perform the computer exercises with remote connection to the computers in the lab. And the third track is full contact learning where uh, you need to be uh, physically present or in a hybrid format if, uh, if that's what is mandated. And uh, all the labs are performed with uh, physical contact. Um, regarding the evaluation, we follow the usual one to five scale in uh, grading and 40% of the final score comes from the lectures, which uh, means four seminars where you need to present your own uh, mini review of a topic of your choice from a list of topics that we offer. Uh, each of them is worth 10 points. And then the Formal Labs module, you get 60 points or 60% 60 of your final grade. And out of that, 55 points come from the written lab report, uh, like the portfolio of uh, your completed exercises and five points uh, for uploading all the results. But uh, you must know that uh, without submitting the results and participating in the labs, you automatically fail the course. So labs are mandatory to complete. And well, seminar participation is also mandatory. Um, about the practical part, so these are the, the main parts or the main modules that we have in the practical part. Uh, there is rapid prototyping one where uh, you will get to 3D print, you will get to design and 3D print uh, a microfluidic chip, then uh, three classes of finite element modeling, two on computational fluid dynamics and one on thermal analysis. Then there's an experimental class where uh, you test a microfluidic chip and you do the validation and you also learn about uh, the practical side of uh, 3D printing. And uh, then uh, there's a class on droplet microfluidics where you do image analysis of uh, droplet populations. And then um, uh, at the end, you must write a lab report, which uh, will contain all of your reports on each individual exercise. Um, so about the learning outcomes, uh, this is also something you can find on uh, OIS, but uh, just, just to have it uh, explained um, also as, as part of this video. First module and the second module part of it anyway is about the theoretical foundation where you learn about uh, fluid mechanics. If you haven't uh, learned about this before, then uh, this is an introduction to, to the topic. 
which is necessary to understand the contents of this course, then simulation and fabrication of uh, Labona chip type devices, microfluidic chips, sensors and actuators, that is uh, a very foundational knowledge for this uh, field. And uh, we will talk about the principles behind these sensors, the working mechanisms for each of them, and the networking of sensors and actuators. Then uh, the practical knowledge part, that's uh, partially in the lectures, partially in the labs. Uh, it's about design, fabrication, characterization of Biomem's devices for research. And primarily by Biomem's, I mean lab on a chip devices. Uh, application of Biomem's, that's uh, the last thing in the series. And um, it will be in a large part outsourced to guest lecturers who will come and talk about uh, uh, the applications. Each year we have different guest lectures coming, so stay tuned for that. Um, and the ability, so what you gain by this is the ability to, to continue independently specializing in this field, should you choose to do your thesis in this uh, area. Uh, hopefully this course will give you the basics. And then plus one skill is that by the seminars, uh, you get to improve your presentation skills and, uh, and gain uh, experience presenting uh, topics that are new to you.